Hi, this is Nancy. I'm a homeschool mom of two. I live in the state of Mississippi, and today we're going to talk about the homeschool laws in my home state. So, uh, we will be doing different videos over the next few weeks, um, talking about different homeschool laws in different states. Hopefully, we will do one for each state in the United States of America. And, you know, I'm not a lawyer, but I did pull this information from www.hslda.org. And so I want you to check them out whenever you get done watching this video, as well as checking out our blog at www.lifesblessings101, no spaces, .wordpress.com. And um, I'll also list our um, merchandise down in the description box as well. We have an official merchandise store now. So I would love for you to check it out. That would really, really help us to support not only our channel, but also our homeschool journey and our family in general. So I would really, really love for you to check that out if you can. I have some homeschool t-shirts, um, some Christian t-shirts. Um, we even have some, you know, um, hats and things like that on there. So check it out. And, you know, if you feel led to make a purchase, then thank you. God bless you. And let's get started with the homeschool laws. So in the state of Mississippi, if your child is between the ages of 6 and 17, then you will need to comply with the homeschool laws if you intend to homeschool for that year. So, um, and that is 6 to 17 on or before September 1st of that year, okay? So, you know, I know that the public schools want to enroll your children at five years old to kindergarten. So, you don't have to meet with a truant officer, though, at five years old if you already know that you're going to homeschool. But if you have already registered your child with the school system, then you will need to meet with the truant officer. But first, you will need to withdraw your child from the school records, from the school system. So, um... It doesn't matter that your child hasn't attended a day of kindergarten. My son did not attend a day of kindergarten, but I had registered him with the school system, so I had to formally withdraw him and get them to make a copy of that form, please, because they're going to tell you that they don't have to. It's in the system and all this stuff. That's fine, but humans are humans. They make mistakes, and they lose your papers. <laughs> so... Get them to make a copy so you can bring that to the truant officer so you can prove to them that they have been withdrawn from school. And also for your records, do not just hand it to the truant officer and leave it there. You need to get your forms back. If they need a copy of it, then that's fine. Let them make a copy of your copy. But you bring a copy home as well. And you put that in your, in your folder, in your binder, whatever you're going to keep your child's records in. Okay, so all you need to fill out in the state of Mississippi, you know, unless you have to withdraw your child, is the annual certificate of enrollment for homeschool. And that's basically referred to as the homeschool card. So you're going to go to your truant officer and you're going to request to fill out the homeschool card. And um, she, he or she will ask you a few questions like the age of your child and things like that. And... Um, just please know that there are no teacher qualifications in the state of Mississippi. So if he or she is asking you which college you went to and asking you for your teacher certification or anything like that, no. That's not legal for them to, you know, pressure you and ask you questions like that. I was not asked anything like that, but had I been asked, I knew what the law was and I would have, you know, informed them that that was definitely not something that they needed to know. There are no teacher qualifications in the state of Mississippi. There are no standardized testing requirements. Um, there are no required subjects for you to teach. Um, there are no set amount of instruction days. We are a very, very free state to homeschool in. So our state is very, very lenient. Praise God for that. Uh, because there are a lot of restrictive states. In America so I praise God for that I thank him for his grace in our state um, the annual certificate of homeschool enrollment that homeschool card that I'm talking about I have a video on that about how to fill that out because like I said there are no required subjects and a lot of people get confused they think 
oh my gosh, I have to go buy curriculum. I have to know exactly which curriculum I'm going to use and all this. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. All right. The homeschool card is going to ask you several questions on there. And your first time, it can be scary, even though it's just a few questions because you don't want people getting into your business. You, you know, maybe you're unsure how you're going to do things and it just makes you nervous, especially your first couple years. So I do have a video that I'm going to link down in the description box below about how to fill out the homeschool card because it's really, really quite simple here in the state of Mississippi, even though it can seem overwhelming. And so, um, and, and also, after you fill out the homeschool card, ask your truant officer for a form of compliance. It's just a form that says that you are in compliance with the state. Very, very important because a lot of people don't like what we're doing. A lot of people disagree with our parenting choices. A lot of people don't like that, you know, we have chosen to homeschool our children. Most people think that they should be in public school where, you know, someone is trained to teach children. And, you know, they've gone to school for that. They have a degree for that. And, you know... Nobody, um, nobody teaches your child better than, you know, somebody with a master's degree or a doctorate's degree, you know. Um, forget about giving birth to them. Forget that, you know, you were the one that God chose to give birth to that child and to raise that child in his ways. Um, forget about all that. You need a doctorate's degree. So, um, yeah, people are going to judge you. They're going to criticize you. And because of that, you want to have records. You want to have records, Okay. You're not required to have records in the state of Mississippi. But what I suggest doing is getting a notebook or a binder. Keep some of their papers inside, some of the, you know, little coloring sheets that they have done um, where they have written their name, something that they've done from, you know, each grade level, each year that you've been homeschooling. You need to have a record because you never know who might get in their head that you're not qualified to teach your child even though the Lord did qualify you whenever he placed that baby in your womb, he gave you that teacher certificate that you needed. So it's up in heaven for anybody that wants to see it. But, you know, not everybody thinks that way. So um, be sure that you do keep some records. Keep your compliance form in there. Keep your, you know, um, keep that withdrawal form if you had to withdraw your child from the public schools, then you want to keep that in there and you want to keep some samples from your child's work in there. And also you would want to keep a list of any books and materials that you used to teach your child. That way you can just prove that, you know, um, you shouldn't have to prove that to anyone, but you know, you never know. You never know when somebody's going to get in your business and try to make trouble for you. So, um, thankfully that's never happened to us and I pray that it never does, but you know, if something was to arise, I have all those papers in order and, you know, it's no problem. I can just pull it out and I can prove that I am, I am really doing something with my children. So, um, you know, we, we are um, taking care of our children to the best of our ability and as the Lord instructs us to do so. So, um, keep those pa paperwork, you know, in order and, um, like I said, there are no teacher qualifications. There are no standardized testing requirements or subjects that you need to teach. But, you know, um, when you fill out your homeschool card, you will be asked about the subjects, you know. They just want a general idea of what you're doing. They just want to know that you are really, you know, homeschooling, not just saying that you are. Um, and you can, you can relax school. You can unschool. It doesn't matter. It's fine. In the state of Mississippi, everything's fine. And you can you can uh, homeschool however you see fit. And, you know, in, in every state in the United States, you can homeschool. Uh, you can unschool. You can uh, do relaxed schooling. And, you know, um, every single state of the United States allows you to do that. There are just loopholes that you have to know about <laughs> in order to do it in other states. But in the state of Mississippi, there's... Um, it's, it's pretty straightforward. There's very limited regulations on us. Praise God for that. So um, thank you for watching this video. Give us a big thumbs up. If you enjoy hearing homeschool videos, watching homeschool videos, and um, share this on your social media, 
We don't have any other social media, so I would really appreciate it if you would share this video out. I know that it could really be a blessing to someone that, you know, is interested in homeschooling. So I, I hope you share this on your social media. Give us a big thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know your experience with homeschool and how it's going for you. If you have any additional questions, my email will be in the description box. And also you can contact me through my blog at www.lifesblessings101.wordpress.com. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining us.